You sure this is a good idea? I mean, aren't you gonna get yourself in trouble? Don't worry about me. Besides, I couldn't just stand idly by while they treated you so unfairly. Who are those people running the trial? You mean the Council of Sepul? They're the leaders of our city. They settle all our disputes. Judge and jury all rolled into one, huh? Efficient. As you can see, our land suffers. Everything that corruption touches... It breaks. Yeah. I saw it up close. It's real fucked up in there. Uh, not pleasant. Indeed. Athia's all but lost. Where did the break shit come from? I'll tell you soon enough. We must keep moving. So where are we going, exactly? We should make our way to the Lower City. The Lower City. Got it. What were you even doing at the courtroom? No one has arrived from outside the city for many years. Everyone in town wants to know who you are. Price and notoriety, I guess. After what you called the break shit. Uh, let's just go with the break. After the break occurred, people fled their villages. Sir Paul is the last bastion. Damn. I would advise staying off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You know, we should stay off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You're right. Wow, nice digs. Some schmancy houses. This is where the nobility live. Ah, yes. The Upper East Side. Technically, we're in the north of the city. Far out! She can't have got far! It appears they've noticed that you're missing. Head for the shadows and keep moving. Stick to the shadows. Great idea. Why can't you be more like her? She likes all my ideas.
You are safe now. Uh, thanks. We are close to where I live. Come, I have food. Bit of a half-hearted thank you, I must say. Nobody does anything nice without wanting something in return. I have trust issues. Hmm. Do you trust me? <sighs> well, you and I have is an unholy alliance at best. I couldn't get rid of you even if I wanted to. She did just risk her own life to get you out of jail. Point taken. Plus, she promised me food. And don't you want to know what she wants? It's quite the mystery. More interested in the food at the moment. We can speak freely here. I am Odin Keen, daughter of Robian and Callista Keen. Well, uh, I'm Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. I don't know how to respond. It's okay. Boring story. I'm over it. Liar. My father was a notable cognizant. Cognizant? Cognizant. You say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato, tomato. You are very strange, Frey. Cognizants are Athia's most highly respected scholars. And my mother was a general. Oof. That is a lot to live up to. Wait, was? I've been on my own almost my whole life. I don't know what that's like. I don't have any parents. I had some foster ones, but they never really stuck. So you must feel the same way that we got royally screwed. That we must help others. Tomato, tomato. This is my home. You live in a bar? Uh, above. I like you more and more. So about that food? You had this on you the whole time? I needed you to follow me, Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. Hmm. Just phrase fine and uh, well played. Well, thanks for the jailbreak lady and the apple, but uh, this is where we part ways. Please wait. I need your help to save my homeland. Ah, uh, mystery solved. That's not happening. The circle of bending light, the rushing sound. That's what brought you here, yes? You want to go back home, don't you? I may be able to help you. I'll give you to the bottom of a drink. Nice. Looks like one of those medieval themed bars. Hey! Sorry, I didn't see you. Give it back. Come on. Second rule of pickpocketing never give back what you stole. What's the first rule? Don't get caught. What is it anyway? Something that ain't worth crap here. Well, if it isn't worth anything, why can't I have it? Nice try, Munchkin. Now scram! A pint of your finest ale, my good sir. Hell of a kick. You guys do not mess around. All right, let's hear it. This isn't gonna last long. My father researched the phenomenon known as the Tirana extensively. Tirana? The tunnel of light you traveled through. I believe his work holds the answers you need. I could give you his findings, and... Here it comes. In return, I want you to find his research notes on the break. They are... In the break, right? It does not seem to have any effect on you. So they say. Many have tried to find what's outside the city, but they don't get far before... Before what? 
You are the only hope we have. You're special. <laughs> okay, you obviously don't know me. <sighs> I want proof. Follow me and I'll show you. And thank you. I, I haven't said yes. Do you believe her? I suppose anything is possible. Some chance is better than no chance. I do not want to go back into that hellscape. Come on, it will be fine. I'll be with you after all. Not comforted. Is this, then, your folks? Yes. It was painted when we were at one of the Cognoscent's guilds. Father was one of the Cognoscent's of Janoon. He had the foresight to move his work to Pranos just before the guild and Janoon fell to the break. So your dad's notes are in Pranos? Yes. He brought me here to keep me safe from the break. But it wasn't long before he went back to finish his work. That was 20 years ago. I never saw him again. And the break eventually overtook everything outside the city. Could you tell me about him? He was a brilliant man, beloved by many. He was close to finding a way of slowing down the break, maybe even reversing it. People put their faith in him, believed that he would make the world how it used to be. I'm trying my hardest to continue his work, to keep hope alive. Here, these are his notes on the Tirana. Yeah, yeah, this looks familiar. You can have this after you help me. Quid pro quo. I get it. He kept his notes on the break and read journals like this one. I need you to find them and bring them back. Okay, so I go and get the journals, bring them back, and then we're square. That's the full extent of my savioring. I will do everything in my power to help you get home. You have my word. Cross your heart and hope to die? You wish me dead? Uh, no, no, it's a, a phrase we have on our... <laughs> Forget it. I shall pretend those words were never uttered. Good. Okay, I'm in. Why not? It's not like I've got any better options. Oh, this is good news. You're truly helping the people of Athia. Uh, not why I'm doing it, but yeah, sure. If you're planning on heading into the break, you'll need to get some rest. I'll go in the morning. You got anywhere I can crash? Crash? A crash. A, a sleep? Oh, of course. Follow me. You can use this room whenever you like, and I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. What a fucking day. Still can't tell if any of this is real. And yet it is. Now rest. You have another big day tomorrow.
now you look like one of us. But your shoes betray you. These have gotten me out of a lot of scrapes. Where I go, they go. The kicks stay. So it shall be. Here, you also need this. It's a map of Athia. It should aid you on your journey. Here, I've marked the Cognizance Guild. Perfect. Thank you again. Tanta's blessings. You too, whatever that means. Maybe you should grab an apple. An apple a day. We'll keep Frey's hunger at bay. Such a poet. So, how do we get to this Cognizance's guild place? If I'm reading the peasant girl's map correctly, we'll need to leave the city by the south gate. Alright, let's get going then. Fair maiden, a moment if you please. Pray, lend me your ears. I have a fine song to play you. Very well. Then allow me to regale you with the ballad of the enormously clever person of Sipal. Is that really the best title he could come up with? Well, did it speak to your soul? Did the doleful melody conjure images of the encroaching miasma, the unearthly cries of its foul denizens, the unlucky inhabitants of this fair city, myself among them, cursed, never again to venture beyond its walls? Again? Have you ever been out there? But of course. What manner of minstrel would I be? Did I not go wandering over hill and dale? <laughs> In my dreams, of course. <clears throat> you, Bard! Escaped criminals roam the streets and still you do not cease your racket. There is a crisis afoot. Forgive me, but there is always a crisis afoot. Well, you may have a point there, but nonetheless... She's a guard, Frey. We need to get out of here, now. I, uh, guess I'll be on my way then. Wait. You! You're... So sorry to see you go, fair maiden, but go you must. And quickly. <clears throat> that was a little too close for comfort. But we got away, thanks to the fop. Dream wanderings indeed. Yeah, and that song. What the hell even was that? It's like somebody made an entire city out of back alleys. Which makes them front alleys now, I suppose. 
I'm so glad they have Kat and Athia, too. Why, exactly? Do you have some special attachment to the ridiculous little creatures? Huh? What? No. Miss you, Homer. Short trip. How the hell do you get out of this dump anyway? I know a way. You. You been following me, kid? No. But I know how to help you. Really? I know everything around here. Mm-hmm. And what's that gonna cost me? An apple, maybe? You have been following me. Sure. You seem hungry. Just follow me. Don't you want to know my name? Not really. It's Olivia. And you're Frey. Everyone's been talking about you. I guess I'm kind of famous around here. Does famous mean hunted by the gods? I call it finders keepers. Damn. Did you steal all this stuff? Not all of it. You're growing on me, kid. Sometimes people have no idea what they're throwing away. I often make new things out of this stuff. Here. If you get hurt, this will help you heal. All right. Nice. You'll have to give me the recipe. Of course. Let me teach you how. Try it. People really do throw a lot of stuff away, huh? Yes, a lot of useless rubbish. Wait, this might come in handy.
Hey, shorty. I got you something. That thing you said isn't worth crap. No, not my cell phone. And thanks for not swiping that again. I don't steal from friends. Friends? Cool. <laughs> Uh, well, as your friend, I got you this. Wow! What is that? Are you a Tonta? <laughs> it's a pen light, and no, I'm not a Tonta. What's the deal with those guys, anyway? They were the strongest and most powerful woman in Athia. They all had gifts. And in the past, they used them to help protect the land. But one day, they will again. Come and save us. Uh, listen, kid. From personal experience, you gotta look out for yourself. People only really get saved in fairy tales. Wrong. You'll see. All right. Well, uh, I got a split. Um, you said you knew the best way out of this place. Well, if you climb over that wall there, that should help you get to where you want to be. Cool. Thanks. I'll, uh, see you when I see you. I'll keep the city safe while you're gone. Sure. You do that. I think we're nearly there. Well done, me. <laughs> A pond. Kinda quaint, you know? A cat. I'm so glad they have cats in Athia, too. Let's see. Strange feeling that cat wants us to follow it. What do you want us to find here? For me? Ha, oh, you shouldn't have.
Why don't your trust issues extend to the street urchin? Because I've been there, all right? Let's just leave it at that. What the hell are these things? Are they people? I believe this is what happens when humans are affected by the break. Then I can't kill them. What choice do you have? It's either them or you. So this is what Auden meant when she said people who come out here don't make it very far. Explains why the people of Sapor prefer staying inside their community. trick. Worth a shot. Gun, 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 gun. Not a particularly exacting opponent. Oh, you want me to make things more interesting for you? <laughs> no monsters here, huh? Are you hoping for a little exercise? Did you find something? If there aren't any monsters lurking in here, I'll eat my hat. Oh, I would pay to see that. Best to assume I'm right for now, though, eh? Careful. You do the legwork for a change. Not something Berberus is a thing for, I think. Huh. Powerful magical energies indeed. What the hell was that? Did something happen? I don't know. I feel more powerful, I think. Hmm. Well, more power is always a good thing. You'll give me a thorough wipe down when we get out, won't you? Nope. <laughs>
I feel like I can breathe easier when Sepal comes into view. Because fresh supplies are close at hand? No, because there are actual human beings there. Consumables? I'll try not to consume them all at once. I guess. Bad guys nearby. Got it in one. These break zombies, they're everywhere. I'm sure they were nice people before, but come on. Wait for it. <sighs> Don't move. Very nicely done. Alright, what's our next move? Close? Not really, no. This time, let's try to steer clear of cute animals. Noted. And this time, let's try to be less petulant and annoying, right? I'm hardly petulant and annoying. Agree to disagree. Probably chill here for a while. Wonderful. I, for one, can't wait to take a load off. Take a load off what?
Ugh, tired. I don't see why. You've been asleep for ages. 